okay uh, okay good afternoon to anandal today we are discussing about the general method of backtracking that is in general method of backtracking the many problems searching for set of solutions that is the many problems uh, searching for set of solutions suppose the single problem has more than one solution and searching for optimal solution uh, satisfy the some constraints that is they satisfy the some constraints can be solved by using backtracking in many applications backtracking method uh, solution expressed by a n tuple that is solution expressed by tuple that is tuple means x1 x2 x3 x4 xn where x of i that is the x of i is selected from finite sets so the problems are solved by using finding one vector that maximize the criteria function that is p sometimes all the vector satisfy the criteria function so the many problems solved using backtracking required the all the solutions satisfy all the solutions satisfy a complex set that is the complex set of constraints that is complex set of constraints for uh, any problem these constraints divide into two categories that is in backtracking there are two types of constraints that is the any problem that is the any problem satisfy the two constraints so first one is explicit constraint that is explicit constraints the second one is implicit constraints so first one is explicit constraints that is the explicit constraints means these are the rules restricted each x of i value is taken that is each x of i value is taken values for given sets so what are the values of x of i that is there are three conditions that is x of i values that is the restrictions for each x of i is to taken for values so first one is suppose for example x of i is greater than 0 greater than or equal to 0 means the x of i values is 0 1 2 3 4 up to n so for example it is the x of i values is 0 or 1 that is the x of i values taken only 0 or 1 next third one that is the x of i values that is the x of i values is uh, lower bound and upper bound that is for example it is l of i less than or equal to x of i less than or equal to u of i that is here l of i means lower bound next uh, x of i less than or equal to u of i that is here u of i means upper bound for example it is in 4 by 4 that is in 4, 4 by 4 queen problem l of i equal to 1 u of i equal to that is u of i equal to 4 because it has only four queen problems that is x of i is either one two three or four x of i is lower bound is one that is one less than or equal to x of i less than or equal to u of i so for every problem that is the every problems the explicit constraints is change for every problem that is the problem to problem the explicit explicit constraints are changed that is explicit constraints are change that is the explicit constraints are depends on particular instant of problem being solved that is that means the x of i values vary from problem to problem suppose in the nqueen problem 4 by 4 nqueen problem that is x of i values is only 1 to 4 suppose in 8 by 8 queen problem x of i values is uh, x of i values is uh, 1 to 8 uh, for example you are taking 16 queen problem that is 16 queen problem is the x of i values is 1 to 16 that is lower bound is 1 upper bound is 16 uh, suppose you are using sum of subsets you are taking only three values that is the sum of any values that is x of i is, is 1 or 2 or 3 suppose x of i is 0 or 1 that is suppose uh, uh, the value change from problem to problems the all the tuples satisfy the explicit constraints depend depend upon the possible solution space that is in possible solution space that is the explicit constraints that is the explicit constraints represents the possible solution space that is the possible solution means it is not an answer that is it represents all the possible solutions that is the all the possible solutions that is explicit constraints represents all possible solutions that is all the possible solutions but in all possible solutions you are find the answer it is you are find the solution solution means the solution which satisfy the all the constraints means implicit constraints 
so for example it is for example in four pin problem explicitly constraints are it is x four pin problem is the x of i value is one or two or three or four so one less than or equal to x of i less than or equal to four so uh, the possible solutions that is the po possible solutions that is the possible solutions for four pin problem is x of one x two x three is one two three four or one two four three one three two four uh 1342 1423 that is these are the possible solutions that is totally you have 26 possible solution space these are not all solution solution uh, solution space solution space in solution space there such the answer no that is answer tuple so all possible solutions for example here 1234 means that is here 1234 means Uh, 1 2 3 4 means that is 1 2 3 4 means <coughs> suppose 1 2 3 4 means suppose in 4 by 4 pin problem it is in 4 by 4 pin problem 1 2 3 4 means that is 1 2 3 4 means one represent that is uh, one represent that is one represent uh, one represent that is one represent uh, of in first row the queen is placed in first first column Uh, two represents in second row x2 that is here x2 represents to second row oh uh, it is two represented this two represented this two means in previous that is two represents second row second column next third row third column and next one is fourth row fourth column that is 1 2 3 4 that is x1 x2 x3 that is x1 x2 x3 represent that is x1 x2 x3 represent x1 x2 x3 represent Here one two three four. That is one two three four represent. That is one two three four represents the queen is placed. That is first queen is placed in first row first column. Two represents second queen is placed in second row second column. Next third queen is represents third row third column. Fourth queen is represents fourth row fourth column. That is here one two three four. One two three four represent x one represents first row. One represents where the in which column you are placing the queen. Next to two represents second row in which column you are placing the second queen. Three x three x four. Next to second one one two three four three. That is one two three four three means same one two three four three. Uh, one two three four. That is one two three four means one two four. That is third queen is placed and fourth queen is placed in fourth column. That is that means in the one two three. That is Uh, one, one, two, three, four, three. That is one, two, four, three. Means first row. That is the first queen is placed in first row, first column. Second queen is placed in second row, second column. Third queen is placed in third row, fourth column. Here x three means that is x three. Three means third row. X three means third row. Four means the value of x three is means four means the queen is placed in uh, fourth column. That is the column fourth. But it not satisfy the constraints. That is the explicitly constraints. That is uh, later we are telling about implicitly constraint means no two queens are in same row, same column. Say these two queens are in same diagonal. These two queens are in same diagonal. So you are just representing the possible solution space. That is here you are representing only possible solution space. That is the possible solution space. There are twenty four possible solution space. That is one two three. In twenty four possible solutions. we have only one uh, one or two solution uh, answer nodes that is the answers that satisfy the all the constraints but in our example that is first we are just representing only explicitly constraints that is the explicitly constraints represent possible solution space so for four pin problem these are the possible solution space so next one uh, <coughs> next one next one so suppose uh, in in sum of such such problem it is uh, in sum of such such problem same in sum of subsets problem it is the sum of subsets problem suppose there are four elements that is these uh, there are four elements so for example it is there are four elements that is the four elements means the value of x of is li lies between 1 to 4 for variable representation already yesterday we were uh, 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 yesterday we were explain about the solution is represented by uh solution is represented by fixed size representation and variable size representation that is fixed size means the tuple size is fixed variable size means tuple size fixed means 
the every tuple has fixed number of elements that is four means every solution that is the every solution has fixed number of elements variable tuple variable size tuple means the every solution has variable that is the variable size tuples so we are representing it is explicitly constraint explicitly constraints suppose there are four elements in the sum of the subset problem the explicitly constraints that is the explicitly constraints is 1 less than or equal to x of i less than or equal to 4 means x1 x3 x4 x5 sorry 4 x1 x3 x4 x5 we are representing x of i values from 1 to 4 for fixed size representation x of i values is either 0 or or 1 for variable size representation for variable size representation uh, the x of i values select from 1 to 4 suppose the for uh, 1 2 3 4 that is for 1 2 3 4 the subsets that is the subsets means already we are studying in sets subset that is the subset of 1 2 3 4 subsets means the single element or combination of two elements or combination of three elements that is the subset of uh, the subsets that is the subsets of 1 2 3 4 the subset of 1 2 3 4 is first one null set next one is one subset two is one null uh, subset three is one null set four is one subset 1 2 1 2 is one subset that is sum of the first two elements that is uh, first represents null the here represent sum of first element that is the first sum of only you are consider sum only first element you are consider in sum only second element you are consider only some third fourth element or first two element first three elements uh, next four elements next uh, one three element sum that is in sum you are consider only first element and third element here sum you are con consider first element and fourth element that is these all the represents the solution space solution space for variable size variable size means the size of the tuple is vary here the size of the tuple that is the size of the tuple is 1 the size of the tuple is 1 1 minute the size of the tuple is 1 for variable size that is for variable size the size of the tuple that is the size of the tuple is vary it is the size of the tuple is vary means the size of the tuple is 1 it is the size of the tuple is 1 size of the tuple is here zero here the size of the tuple is 1 1 1 1 here the size of the tuple is 2 2 2 2 2 here the size of the tuple is 3 that is variable size so which elements is consider in sum but all the sums is not satisfy equal to m value that is all the tuples not satisfy the value equal to m here the size of the tuple is 4 that is uh, here the size of the tuple that is the size of the tuple the size of the tuple is size the size of the tuple is vary so from 1 to 1 that is here 3 here the size of the tuple is 4 so for variable size representation explicitly constraints in explicitly constraints that is in explicitly constraints in ex in explicitly constraints okay explicitly constraints that is explicitly constraints ex explicitly constraints in explicitly constraints represent variable size these are all the explicitly constraints explicitly constraint means the value of x of i values that is the value of x of i is either 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 1 2 1 3 or 4 for variable size representation next variable size representation suppose for fixed size representation for fixed size representation we are representing same 16 numbers that is the 16 numbers which elements is consider in sum that is which element is consider in sum is consider in sum as 1 suppose here no element is it is pi set that is no element is consider in sum here only first element is consider in sum only second element is consider in sum third element is consider in sum fourth element is consider in sum suppose first two elements that is here 1 1 0 1 1 1 represents here 1 1 here 1 2 1 represents x1 equal to 1 uh, x1 equal to 1 and means x2 equal to 
G1 means which element is considered, that is, which element is considered in sum, it represented by 1, 1. Suppose third element and fourth element is not considered in sum, so it represented by 0. Here, same. Here, 1, 1, that is, uh, 1, 1, 0, 0. 1, 1, 0, 0 means, sorry, 1, 1, 0, 0 means 1, comma 2. Here, 1, comma 3, 1, comma 4. That is, 1, comma 4 means the first element and fourth element is considered in sum. Here, the second element and third, uh, third element is considered in sum. So, you are considered it is same 16. It is for same problem. Sum of set here, you are representing the 16 solutions. 16 solution space. In 16 solution space, the 16 solution space is represented by fixed size representation. Here, fixed size means every tuple has four values. But the which, which value is considered in the sum is represented by one. Which values is not considered in the sum is represented by zero. Suppose 1, 1, 1, 1, that is 1, 1, 1, 1 means the four elements is considered in the sum. For 1, 1, 1, 1 means x1 equal to 1, x2 equal to 2, x3 equal to 3, x4 equal to 4. 1, 1, 1, 1 means in previous uh, representation here 1, 2, 3, 4. That is 1, 2, 3, 4 means the four elements is considered in sum. The four elements is considered in sum. So you are considered 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Suppose only three elements, 2, 3, 4. 2, 3, 4 means here in previous slide you are represent 2, 3, 4. 2, 3, 4 means only three elements is considered in sum. So x1 is not, 1 not is considered in sum. So 1, 0, 0, 0. That is 1, 0, 0, 0 means 1, sorry, 0, 1, 1, 1. That is 0, 1, 1 means first element is not considered in sum. So second, third, fourth. Here 1, 1, 0, 1. 1, 1, 0, 1 means first element, second element, and fourth element is considered in sum. It is represent 1, 2, 4. Same in previous variable size representation. 1, 2, 4. That is 1, 2, 4 means third element is not considered. Means x3 equal to 0. So x3 equal to 0, x1, x2, x3 equal to 0. For sum of the subset problem, from sum of the subset problem, for sum of the subset problem, the solution space is represented by fixed size representation. Fixed size means every solution set, that is, the every solution has four uh, values, that is, four elements. That is, 1, 2, 3, 4. So first one, explicitly consigned here. Suppose for explicitly consigned, for uh, Four pin problem. That is for four pin problem. The explicit consensus vary from one to four. Next one for uh, for uh, some of the subset problem. The explicit consensus for variable size. That is for variable size representation. X of i values is one two three four. That is x of i values is one two three four. For fixed size representation. For fixed size representation, the x of i values is either zero or one. These are the explicit consensus. So next one, implicit constraints. That is the implicit constraints. That is the explicit constraints represents what is the possible solution space, a uh, 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 possible solution space. Uh, just it represents solution space, but all the implicit constraints not satisfy the ex uh, all the explicit constraints not satisfy the implicit constraints. So the explicit explicit constraints. That is the explicit constraints. Which satisfy the implicit consents is the answer, that is, answer node or answer. For example, it is the implicit consents are rules that determine which of the tuple in the solution space satisfy the criteria function. So implicit consents, that is, the implicit consents means the implicit consents are rules that determine which of the tuple in the solution space satisfy the uh, criteria function. So every problem has criteria function. Every problem has criteria function. The implicit constraints means that are the rules that determine which of the tuples in the solution space satisfy the criteria function. The implicit constraint describes the way in which x of i values is related to each other. The implicit constraints, that is, the implicit constraints represent what is the relationship between x of i values in backtracking algorithm the solution is systematically searched in solution space. That is, solution space means, suppose, it is the one of the solution space for four queen problem. That is, four queen, sorry, sorry, sorry. It is the one of the solution space for four queen problem. Suppose, in, uh, uh, suppose, 
in some of the set it is the solution space that is so you are searching the solution uh, uh, searching in solution space by using implicit constraints that is in backtracking algorithm that is in backtracking algorithm determine the solution by systematically searching the solution space so you are systematically searching the solution space so this searching is provided by the tree tree organization for solution space so every solution space that is here just you are representing the solution space every solution space represented by tree okay every solution space represented by tree so by using explicit constraints we are representing the solution space that is by using uh, explicit constraints that is explicit constraints first we are representing solution space the solution space by in solution space by using implicit constraints that is by using implicit constraints and criteria function that is by using implicit constraints and criteria function you are searching the solution in solution space that is we are searching the solution in solution space systematically that is systematically means the solution space is uh, represented by solution space tree so solution space tree that is what is meant by solution space tree all the solution space is represented by tree is called solution space tree so for example that is in four queen problem that is in four group in four queen problem that is in four queen problem in four queen problem it was sorry 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 in four queen problem the solution space is represented by 1 2 3 4 1 2 1 2 3 totally 24 solution space that is this 24 tuples in solution space that is this 24 that is the 24 solution space is represented by three for example that is x1 equal to 1 suppose x1 equal to 1 x2 equal to either 2 or 3 or 4 means here suppose x1 equal to 1 x2 equal to either 2 or 3 or 4 for example here suppose x1 equal to 1 first six values that is for first six values x1 equal to 1 so what is meant by x2 x2 is 2 x suppose x2 equal to 2 x3 equal to 3 or 4 same x x1 equal to 1 x2 equal to x3 equal to 4 or 3 already here 3 or 4 next 4 or 3 suppose x2 equal to 3 so x uh, x3 equal to 2 or 4 first you are taking 2 4 next 4 2 so these are all the solution space totally 24 solution spaces that is these 24 solution spaces represented by solution space tree so in next slide you are representing these are the this represents solution space tree so it has totally 24 24 leaf nodes that is 24 leaf nodes means it represent that is from root node to leaf node it represents one solution tuple suppose in a previous that is in a previous we are representing 1 2 3 4 for example 1 2 3 4 means x1 equal to 1 x2 equal to 2 x3 equal to 3 x4 equal to 4 so here x1 equal to 1 x1 equal to 1 x2 equal to 2 x2 equal to 3 x4 equal to 4 it represent that is it represents that is the first node that is the first node from root node to leaf node that is from root node to leaf node the values of x1 x2 x1 means x1 means the x1 x1 means the values from root node to from level 0 to level 1 represents values of x1 from level 2 level 3 represent values of x2s and next from level 3 to level 4 it represents values of x3s from level 4 to level 5 it represents values of x4 so totally it is the totally six sorry totally 24 leaf nodes the total nodes is 65 total nodes is 65 the nodes are numbered that is the nodes are numbered in depth first search way is the nodes are numbered just using your depth search way that is in depth search way the which number which vertex is first visit is represented by one here one two three four five depth depth search so one two three four in previous the solution space one two three four for example it is the for example suppose you are representing four three two one that is four three two one means x1 equal to four x2 equal to three x2 equal to three x3 equal to two x4 equal to one suppose in solution space three four three two one suppose x uh, x1 equal to one x2 equal to two x3 equal to two sorry sorry, sorry. 
x1 equal to 4, x2 equal to 3, x3 equal to 2, x4 equal to 1. So totally 24 here first, uh, first tuple and x1 is last tuple. For example, it is in the middle tuple, middle tuple. For example, 2, 3, 4, 1. That is 2, 3, 4, 1 means x1 equal to 2, x2 equal to x2 equal to 3, x3 equal to 4, and x1, x4 equal to 1. Suppose for representation of this tuple, uh, tuple, suppose 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. So here 28th node, that is 28th node is represented by x3. Totally the solution space, that is this uh, solution space, that is the solution space is represented by, that is the solution space is, the solution space is represented by uh, solution space tree. It is, it is in the solution space. In solution space tree, you are systematically searching the solution by using implicitly constraints and criteria function. This solution space is represented by only explicitly constraints. That is, the explicitly constraint means the possible values of x of i values. That is, the possible x of i values, it represented by using only explicitly constraints. That is, the explicitly constraint means, suppose for 4 by 4 queen problem, that is, for 4 by 4 queen problem, the value of x1, x2, x3 is either 1 or 2 or 3 or 4, same by using these values. The uh, solution space is represented by only solution space by using only explicit constraints. So totally 20, 24 leaf nodes, that is in 24 leaf nodes, that is in 24 leaf nodes, the 24 tuples, that is here totally 24, 6, 6, 6, 6, totally 24. The 24 is represented by solution space 3, that is the solution space 3. In solution space 3, you are systematically searching the solution by using explicitly constraints, that is, by using implicitly constraints and criteria function. What is the criteria function? That is, what is the criteria function for n queen problem or four queen problem is no two queens are in same row, same column, same diagonal. No two queens are in same row, same column, same diagonal. That is the criteria function. And what is meant by implicitly constraints? That is, the implicitly constraint means the x1 is vary from x2, x3, x4. Suppose you are using x1 equal to 1, you never use the x, uh, same x, uh, first one value in other. That is, suppose you are using x1 equal to 1, same for x2, x3, x4, you are not using x1 value. It means the x of i value is not repeated. So implicitly constraints is the x of i values is not repeated. Well, repeated x of i values is very. Suppose if any x of i value is once used, you cannot use it because x of i equal to one. One means first row, second row, third row, fourth row. So x of x of one represents first row, second row, third row. Suppose you are placing one queen in first row. The next you are not placing in the same queen in x one. X, uh, uh, same row, first row, we are placed in second row or second column or third column or fourth column. So you are representing uh, solution space tree by using solution. So tomorrow class we are discussing about same, the solution space for some of the subsets, that is here totally 16, 16 represented by 16 nodes for variable size, next one, 16, that is here 16, the 16 represented by 16. So.